The surface feature is quite interesting. Maria, okay? So that's the ones that I said, uh, Mare, that only exist on the side facing us. They kind of look like this. See these ones here? The darker region? I think the side facing us looks nicer because of that. The other side looks kind of boring. Uh, Maria means seas. Dried up ancient lava flow. That's what they are. They contain dark colored basaltic rock. Okay, this one here. And uh, denser, they are denser and younger rock than the rock of the highlands. Okay. Let's understand, try to understand why they're younger. You see, this is an idea of how we think they formed. 4.6 billion years ago, the moon didn't have Maria. It just was the highlands, you know, just the rocky portion. Then we believe there was a period 4.6 to 3.8 billion years ago. It had a time, huge bombardment. A lot of comets fell, a lot of comets fell. And then what happened as they fell, 3.8 to 3.2 billion years ago, you see from here, 3.8 to 3.2, the, the lava flowed up from the molten interior. And then what happened, the lava, lava flows up and then starts flowing downhill and then starts filling it up wherever there is spots of, you know, like puddles, how puddles form, wherever there are spots uh, like indentations. So that lava flows and See here, you see here, you see there. And then eventually what happens? They dry up, okay? So which one should be younger if we do carbon dating on it? Should this rock be younger? Or if we take one of these lavas that have dried up and uh, we date them, which one should be younger? Well, kind of obvious, right? This is younger, why? It, it came up later. And when we actually brought back rock with us, we dated them, and lo and behold, we are right. You see, every, our, our theories always has to be testable, right? And we were right. They were younger. And they are also denser. They weigh a little bit more. So that means if they're denser, they're going to seek regions of low region, right? They're going to sink down. That's why they are lower. The highlands are much higher, much, much higher, okay? They formed between 3.8 and 3.2 billion years ago after many cometary bombardments, you see? That's what this is showing you. Mostly found on the side facing the Earth because the side facing us is thinner crust. We mentioned that before, right? The thicker crust, it's very hard to, for the lava to make it all the way up to the top. So the other side has only craters, no marias. Okay, overall, if you had to say by percentage, they cover about 17% of the surface of the moon. If, if you include the backside too, overall, the whole thing. Okay, so that, there are these things right here. Picture right there, that's a really nice picture. I love that one. Uh, we're kind of fortunate because we live on the side that it has that better picture. Okay, same idea here. Asteroids impact, the lava flows out, then they settle down. Molten rock from moon's interior rises into basin and floods it. You see here? And then that's how you form the Mare. The other ones, they're called highlands. The whatever is not a Mare. And I think this last picture shows you an actual this is an actual rock that they brought back uh, from the Apollo missions. This is a rock from the Mare. You see how it's dark? Uh, it's a basaltic. It looks like a, one of the rocks you get from the ocean, okay? Um, and they're w here they are weighing it and they're finding out its properties, its density, its age. And I believe this is housed somewhere, like in a museum, you know, they have a ruler next to it. Those people who say we never went to the moon, 
I don't know what they're thinking. It's basically, I put them next to the people who say that the earth is flat. Okay, let them have lunch together. Okay, so the other parts are called highlands. These, these, uh, these ones here. Uh, highlands are higher plateau regions. They're quite higher than the Mare. I wouldn't like, you, you can't just jump off. You will die, you know. They're two to three kilometers above the Maria. So it's basically like a mountain here, like a plateau mountain, and then the, uh, the Maria are much, much lower. They cover about 83% of the surface of the earth. They are light colored rock. You see, you can tell they're lighter colored here from the picture. Called anorthosite. That's the name of the rock that is contained in the highlands. Anorthosite. They are found on the earth only in very old mountain ranges. So they are found on the earth, but very, not very likely to find them. They are only found in very old mountain ranges. They are rich in calcium and aluminum silicates. This is a rock that they brought back from the highlands. Okay, that would be the anorthosite. So um, you can see here, it looks much lighter. It looks quite definitely much different than the uh, Maria rock. Okay, other things, reels. Uh, so these, are, these are other kinds of shapes found on the moon. They look like this, they're valleys. You see here? You, this is a, 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 a looking at from far, you know? But I'm sure if you go inside, these are actually pretty big, you know? And you can tell these are carved out by lava flow, ancient lava flow, you see here? Like that. So long, narrow, and deep canyons carved out by ancient lava flow. So we know there was activity there in the past. Okay, pretty much, you see, this is, you can see the picture, pretty cool there. Another one here. Rays, streaks of pulverized rock caused by impacts of comet collisions. What do those look like? Uh, one of the best ones that I've seen is this one here. You see here? You can see there's another one here. So you can see the center of the comet collision, and then you can see lines like this. It's kind of what happens if you take a paint, and then you just throw it on the brush, you know, on, the, on the canvas, and then it splatters all over, right? So that's basically evidence that there's been a lot of comet collisions. Okay, and then the last thing that the surface contains, just a completely a lot of impact craters. The spots where the comets hit, they are usually named after famous scientists like Copernicus. Why? Because scientists made a lot of impact in our lives, and they deserve to be named, the impact craters deserve to be named after them. So this is one of the big ones here, really huge one. The rocks found on the moon were dated from roughly 3.3 to 4.4 billion years old. The younger ones are going to be the Maria. The older ones are going to be the highland rocks, right? Substantially older than the Earth's rocks, which are dated up to 3.8 billion years old, okay? Some of the oldest rocks on Earth are 3.8. If you just simply look at that sentence, it will, make you, uh, it will make it look like the moon is older. Well, that's weird. The moon's rocks are older. So does, the, does that mean the moon is older? Not necessarily. Remember what we were saying when we talked about the Earth, the, the convection currents, what happens? The rocks go, the, the continents go, and then what do they do? They sink back down. 
they sink back down, right? So the earth kind of hides its age, like we like to hide our age, right? So whenever the rock is too old, it goes back into the earth, and then it gets recycled. Moon doesn't have that recycling activity, right? So this is because the earth is active, and it replenishes the older rock with newer rock from the inside, and it hides the older rock. Okay, so that's not mean that the earth is younger. 